Sometimes when we're developing apps, we get crashes. In fact, lots of time. That's your job as a developer, to minimize those crashes. But it's really difficult to find out where this happens. Android Studio sometimes gives us some clues, but we can also send messages to ourselves through the debug log. And the way we do that is, let's say, for example, every time I click the button, I want to send myself a secret message that the user never knows, but only I know as a developer, that the button has been clicked. Now, bear in mind, you'd only get this message if the device was connected to Android Studio at the time. So it doesn't matter if it happens on someone else's device. Inside our on-click view, right at the bottom, I want you to type log.d. That's just one letter, d. And it will ask you for a tag and a message. So we have to give this a tag, and let's just call this debug and then comma, and then we have to send a message, and let's just say button clicked, and then at the end our semicolon. Now when we run this app inside our debugger, so I'm just going to send it off, and once it starts running, I'm not going to show you the simulator, but I am going to show you how to access that log.debug. Down here in your console, we have a bunch of options right at the bottom. Click Android Monitor, and then right at the top in the drop-down box, it gives you an option for the various devices you have open. So we currently have that emulator open. And over here, it's listening to this process, and it, you'll notice it has that identifier, comgkmicro one thing. And there are lots of different things it could listen to if it wanted to, but we want to listen to one thing. And over here in the tabs, we have various things we can look at, like memory, CPU, GPU, network. We are looking at the logcat, and you'll notice as soon as I press the button on this other screen, down here, we now have button clicked. So that's how we send ourselves a message. So whenever something, for example, is going wrong inside our app, what we would generally want to do is send one of these messages so we can pick up the error as a developer and we can address it later on. Okay, that concludes how to debug your app inside Android.